guys, welcome back to the BMG Loft today. Today we're going to talk about a reverb that uh, a new company called Reverb Foundry uh, came out with, and it's based on a classic expansion cartridge from a classic 80s unit. Um, and it's, you know, the, the, it piqued my curiosity because no one's done this yet on the market. The others have been done with all the old lexicons and, and stuff like that. So this was kind of a, a newer avenue and it piqued my curiosity and it sounds really good. Um, you know, uh, the, the, the market is flooded with lots of reverbs and, uh, um, you know, it, everyone has their own opinion and choices. Um, but for me, I can never have too many good quality reverb plugins. So I was very interested in trying it. And so I grabbed myself a copy and it did not disappoint. Um, it comes with all the factory presets and then obviously you can create and save your own presets. Um, uh, oh, as far as controls go, I, I'm not going to go real in depth on that because I mean, this is very, as you can see, I'll, I'll scan through them. Very typical layout from, uh, digital reverb setups and, um, it's a very, very beautiful uh, interface. Uh, everything works really smooth. I haven't had any issues with any kind of crashing or anything. Um, everything works really, really nice. But of course, the most important thing is how does it sound? And that's a fair question. And for me, when I test out a reverb, one of my favorite things to really test it out on is piano because it has such a complex um, harmonic content and uh, the acoustic nature of it. It uh, really lets me know how a, um, a reverb is going to uh, react and respond and, and, you know, what kind of coloration it has because uh, a piano really reveals what's going on within the signal that's being fed back through the reverb. So we'll just uh, play a little bit here. I'll uh, see. Make sure that... I like running multiple reverbs, so there's another one on it. We're just going to bring this one in. In fact, we're going to start bypass so we just hear the, the dry piano signal. Let's pull it up here. And let's just take a little listen. Let's just run it from the top. It's a really nice sound there, nice little intimate, uh, almost sounds like a, a jazz club kind of sound. That's beautiful right there. Nice plate, very warm.
Has a nice character to it. Has a nice tail. As you, that's something else to always listen for with reverbs is how, how do the tails sound? That's going to tell you a lot about what kind of modulation it has. Uh, the frequency response, uh, lots of little details. Uh, let's do a large hall and put some length on it. Let's listen to how it's going to react. That's nice. That's real nice. Beautiful space. This is really nice. Let's see what this slap hall is all about. Another very intimate kind of setting sound there. That's nice. I like that. As you can hear, this is a, a beautiful sounding reverb. Um, so if, you, if you're in the market for something that's, um, you know, uh, if you love the classic units, but you already have some, but you want kind of a different flavor from something that nobody's uh, attempted to recreate, I highly, highly suggest checking this out because it is a beautiful sounding reverb. Uh, lots of controls. One thing I would like to see uh, is if they added some kind of like master EQ so I could EQ without having sometimes, you know, if there's some kind of weird resonance or sometimes I want to clean up the low end. There, there, there isn't really an in-depth uh, EQ on this. So maybe in a future update we can see that. But other than that, I mean, it's just, it's a gorgeous sounding reverb. So uh, go check them out at Reverb Foundry. Uh, excited to see what else they do because I, I love when people, um, first off, create new things that necessarily aren't vintage and then if they do go vintage route they're going with things that not everyone's repeatedly doing we don't need any more 1176s right now so this is really uh refreshing so uh, go check them out i highly recommend it sounds great and until next time guys keep it grooving